Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Morning English Podcast. My name is Peter Joseph Kuhn from Boston, Massachusetts, and I will be your foreign host today. Hello, Peter. Welcome to the show. My name is Juan. 欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文 So, Peter, what we are going to talk about today? Well, Shuang Shi Eleven Eleven is coming up soon, so why don't we talk about that? Ah, sure, absolutely. And I know in America, you guys also have something similar, right? Yep, absolutely. That's called Black Friday, and we will most definitely get into that as well. But can you tell me more about Eleven Eleven? Like, for example, why is it a thing? Well, you know, eleven、uh, eleven is actually December. Oh,、uh, sorry, November the eleventh,、mm-hmm. and it's also known as Shuang Shi Yi. It's basically a day to celebrate singles、mm-hmm. because of the number one, right? Gotcha. But yeah, it's just for. It's not just for singles. It also has become so popular now, and it's general shopping day.、Mm, gotcha.、Uh, so it's kind of like a way to treat yourself to gifts. As opposed to like Valentine's Day, where you buy gifts for your significant other. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm assuming a lot of the shopping is done online on like Taobao or Jingdong or Tmall, right? Yeah, sure.、Uh, well, what about like brick and mortar stores? That's a keyword there. A brick and mortar store is just like the name for a physical store where you can walk into and touch things, as opposed to online shopping. Yeah, brick and mortar 就是我们经常说的这个实体店啊， mm. 对吧 ？So you know they all have some discounts, but Well, some of them will have. However, the discounts that they have provided are not real discounts. They、mm-hmm. may say that they have a really big discount. However, they will mark the original price up in the end. It's you know much not much a real discount at all. Right? Yeah, I see. A lot of places in America are also like that too. So, what about America's Shuang Shi Yi? Do you have that? Right. So, yeah, that's called Black Friday, and it is the day right after Thanksgiving. So, Thanksgiving is usually on the last Thursday of November. So, why is it called? Black Friday. Well, it's a bit of a history lesson, actually.、Uh, it actually just naturally started occurring that the day after Thanksgiving was a day to start shopping for Christmas presents. It was just a natural coincidence that everybody started shopping that day. Ah, so. 感恩节呢，它实际上是每年的十一月的最后一个周四，所以感恩节一过到了周五呢，大家就要开始疯狂的准备这个圣诞礼物了，对吧？嗯哼，嗯。So, however, the police started co- coining the phrase Black Friday because all of the congestion and traffic, and even sometimes violence and chaos that the shoppers had created.、Uh-huh. So the police actually started calling it Black Friday. 哦、oh, ，所以是这个警察 coin 这样的一个词，对吗？它造出来这样的一个词，因为到了这个周五呢，大家都看过网上那种视频啊，黑压压的一片，人山人海，所以就叫做 Black Friday. Right.、Mm. In the 1950s, people began calling in sick the day after Thanksgiving to give themselves like a four-day weekend,、ah. so they could get a head start on their holiday shopping. Rather than trying to determine who was actually sick, bosses of businesses just started adding the day as another holiday. So it officially opens the Christmas shopping season. Ah,、oh, so 大家就会假装生病是吗？ Mm-hmm. 然后就干脆老板就给他放一个假了，对吧？ Exactly. However, Peter, you know, black seems to be a really negative word, right? It, right? Yeah.、Like、the Black Monday when the stock market crashed in the, in the United States. Mm-hmm. That's a good question.、Mm-hmm. Well, retailers and like businesses wanted to turn this into like a positive thing, so they started to give more discounts, and that's kind of where the tradition started. And up to this day, on Black Friday in America, every store has some kind of discount or deal to promote shopping. Ah,、uh, so what you know? What are the words to describe discounts? You know, Chinese 里面有个就是现在很常用的一个词叫做薅羊毛 Well, some common phrases that you can find are words like deal. For example, we have a great deal on guitars at Tom's Music Shop. Ah.、Uh. 所以 deal 呢，这个词本身的意思是交易嘛。所以如果我说一个东西很划算，我就可以说它是一个 great deal. Mm-hmm. Mm. Another word that's commonly used is heavily discounted. For example, 
all items are heavily discounted at Macy's on Black Friday. Ah, so discount is 打折，所以 heavily discounted 就大减价， mm-hmm. 跳楼大甩卖，所以梅西百货黑五大甩卖，对吧？嗯哼，嗯。So to express percentages off, we just say the number. So it's the opposite of Chinese. 对 So for example, if I say fifteen percent off, it means fifteen percent off the total.、Mm. So for example, if a jacket is a hundred dollars and there is a fifteen percent discount on Black Friday, the price would end up being eighty-five dollars because a hundred times point one five equals fifteen, and fifteen minus eighty-five. I mean, fifteen minus a hundred is eighty-five. So simple math. <laughs> <笑>对，所以中文里的打折的意思实际上是按原价的多少出售嘛。那英文里的这个 off 就是砍掉多少，所以你就记住一点就可以了。就是比如说百分之十五的 off， 那就是砍掉百分之十五嘛，就是八五折， mm. 对吧 ？Yep, exactly. Sometimes people might even stay up all night and camp outside the store to be the first ones in the door because some stores offer the following discount: the first twenty customers in the store will receive a special discount or gift. 啊、oh, ，所以大家为了薅羊毛的话，会真的很不容易。早上清早起来爬起来争当前二十位客户，就是为了这个 special discount 或者是 gift。Exactly， 对吧？嗯。All right, so hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson on Black Friday, and hope you guys get a great deal on 双十一。当然了。See you next time on the Morning English podcast. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢，是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。See you next time. Bye bye.